You've probably heard of the abbreviation LGBTQQIAAP2S or some form of that, but how many of the words behind these letters do you actually understand? Most people understand the first four, but things get a little tricky after that, so let's start with the basics. The term lesbian refers to a woman who is sexually attracted to other women, and the term gay refers to people who are attracted to members of the same sex, most often men who are attracted to other men. A bisexual person feels sexual attraction to both men and women. The term transgender describes a person who identifies mentally and emotionally as a gender that does not match their biological gender. It also functions as an umbrella term for trans people, including trans women, trans men, and transsexual, a term describing people who alter themselves physically through surgery or hormone therapy to align their physical bodies with their gender identity. Please keep in mind that gender and sexuality are not the same. A phrase to help remember this distinction is, sexual orientation is who you go to bed with, and gender identity is who you go to bed as. That brings us to the first confusing letter, Q. This one letter actually stands for all of the letters together, queer. It's another umbrella term, and it applies to all LGBT plus people as a whole, and is a lot shorter and easier to say than LGBTQQIAAP2S. Some people also use queer as a general term to identify themselves if they don't feel that they fit into a certain letter or group. The next Q also covers a large group, but this one stands for questioning. Just like it sounds, the term questioning describes people who are wondering whether or not they belong in the queer community or are still questioning their gender identity or sexual preference. I stands for intersex. Intersex people are born with or develop genitals with ambiguous sexual characteristics because of chromosomal or hormonal abnormalities. Doctors will often choose a gender for intersex babies and assign that gender through surgery soon after birth. It should also be noted that the outdated term hermaphrodite is considered offensive and should not be used to describe these types of people. The first A in this litany of letters stands for asexual, a person who feels only romantic attraction, not sexual attraction, towards any gender. This is not to be confused with agender, which describes people who identify as neither male nor female. The second A doesn't necessarily describe queer people at all. It stands for ally, a person who supports the causes of the LGBT plus community without identifying as queer or LGBT plus themselves. Ideally, this term would include everyone in the world who isn't LGBT plus but we're not quite there yet. P is for pansexual. Members of this sexuality are attracted to other people regardless of gender. This term is broader than bisexual, which limits attraction to just male and female. Pansexuality is also often related to an attraction to another person's personality. And finally, 2S stands for two-spirit. This Native American term applies to people who display both female and male qualities, whether in their personality, sexuality, or gender identity. And that's the queer alphabet. Even if you don't fit into any of these categories, I hope that you now have a better understanding of the people around you or even yourself and can work toward being a better ally for queer people throughout the world.